If you're doing something on your iPhone the same way you've been doing it for years, you may be surprised to find out there's an easier way to do it. I'll show you a few ways you can save time. These ways are easy and simple, but if you don't know they exist, you don't know to use them. Make sure you're on iOS 18 or greater to take full advantage of these. Tip number one. How many times have you started to send a text to your friend and realized you'd misspelled a couple of words? Even when I use voice to text with the benefit of Siri, she can misunderstand me. It used to take a large effort just to place my cursor exactly where it needed to go using my finger. But now there's a simpler, easier way to do it with pinpoint accuracy. This is an option that became available with iOS 12, but I'm still amazed at how many people have never seen it. Just hold your finger down on the space bar and as you do, you'll see the entire keyboard area go gray, indicating that it has become a trackpad for you. So now you can move your finger around so the cursor goes exactly where it needs to go. But one more quick tip, while you're holding your finger down on that space bar, tap the keyboard area with another finger, and then move that spacebar finger around until you get handlebars, and now you can select text, and you can do what you want with that highlighted text. It's that simple. Tip number two. Voice memos have been around for years. However, an often overlooked option allows you to grab a text copy or transcript of your voice memo. This will save you time if you're journaling or if you just want to take a quick note or if you're driving down the highway and you just want to make a note to yourself and then later take the transcript copy and paste it into whatever editor you want to use. For the purposes of this demo, we have location services turned off, but I've often used it and it's a very handy feature. Open the voice memos app, click record, and start talking. Let's say something like this. This is a test of the voice memos app. We want to look at the results of the recording in the transcript. Now that we've recorded a voice memo, let's take a look at it by clicking on the ellipsis beside the recording and see that we can either view it or copy it. First, let's just view it. And we see exactly what we said a few moments ago. So you have other options in there, by the way, in the view. You can enhance the recording or cut out the background noises, etc. But for the purposes of this video, we're just here to talk about the transcript. We're looking at the transcript just click on the ellipsis at the top right again and click copy transcript and paste it into whatever edit package or app that you like. So that's voice memos transcripts. Tip number three. If you like using the voice memos app, then you're going to love the customizable action button to make that process easier. So on your phone, select settings, scroll down and choose the action button, and then scroll around and see if there's an option that you like. In this particular example, we're looking at voice memos. So hover over that one until the voice memo option shows up. And then get out of settings and click your action button or hold down the action button and you'll notice in the dynamic island that your recorder turns on. And then if you hold down the button, then you'll notice that the voice memo is ending and you'll get that confirmation in the dynamic island. Now we could have gone into the other settings that you can choose for the customizable action button. But for the purpose of this video, we just wanted to focus on voice memos. Let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to consider making a video strictly on the customizable action button and all of the various features. Tip number four. Another time saver that I see people missing out on came out in the iOS 18 release and was included in the Notes app for audio recordings. So open up the Notes app, select the bottom right-hand Compose icon, now select the Paperclip icon, and choose Record Audio. Now, when you press Record, you'll create an audio recording inside the Notes app. So let's test that by saying, here is a test voice memo inside of Notes. Now click the Pause button and click Done. Now you'll see the new recording right there inside of Notes. And it has a play button, which you could play it back that way, but it also provides a preview of the transcript below that play button. That's what we're going to look at. Click in that gray box where it says preview, and you'll see the transcript. At the top, you'll also notice an AI summary of your transcript. You have the option to copy that if you like. And you can click the ellipsis at the top right and you'll have multiple options. You can add the transcript to the note or copy the transcript in its entirety, then paste it into another app if you like. 
You'll also see the option to find in transcript, so you can find a specific word or phrase inside the transcript. So it's another hidden feature inside the Notes app. Again, a useful tool that many people have simply overlooked. Tip number five. Speaking of the Notes app, the Notes app has always been a go-to for me. And I'm one of those people that when I found a way to do something on my iPhone, I did it that way every time. And it wasn't until recently that I realized I've been doing it wrong for years. The Files app is very powerful and contains the option to scan a document as well and is faster than the Notes app. So if you open the Files app and you simply browse where you want to put this document, let's create a folder called Test Folder and we're going to put our new scan document inside that. So we'll select that folder, click the ellipsis, click Scan Documents, hold your phone over the document, so it'll scan, click Save, and now you have a scanned document in that folder. From there you have the option to rename the document if you like, then you can share it, you can text it out, save it in the Notes app, or email it out, whatever you prefer. So I thought it would be helpful for you to know that, that there is more than one way to scan a document and save it in your Files app or in your Notes app, and they're both very useful. Neither one of these tips are new, but they're often overlooked. And if I've been doing it wrong for years, maybe you have too. And now for a bonus tip. Now the bonus tip is just for fun, but I thought you might have a good time with it. Currently, if you've never used this automation, when you plug in your phone to charge it or put it on your MagSafe charger, you'll hear that charging tone or that feedback that you get to, to assure you that you've plugged it in correctly. Well, now you can have your phone actually talk to you. Let me show you an example. This is what you hear when I plug my phone in. Thank you, Mike. I really needed that charge. Now, in order to set this up, we're going to have to use the app on your iPhone that only probably 10% of the iPhone users worldwide ever use. And that's the Shortcuts app. But we're not going to create a shortcut. I'll show you how to do it. So open up the Shortcuts app. Look at the bottom row. Look at the center button that says Automation. Click on that. Click the plus sign. And we're going to create an automation. Let's type Charger into the search bar. Click that. And now click the option that says run immediately. Now click next. Now choose what you want it to do when it's connected to power. We want it to speak text. So click speak text. And what do you want it to say? Let's type in, thank you, Mike. I appreciate you giving me a charge. And click done. So now when your phone is connected to power, it'll do this. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate you giving me a charge. Pretty simple, right? I invite you to have a good time with it. I've enjoyed sharing these tips with you and I hope you like them. And if you'll comment below and let me know what you think or if you have suggestions for other tips, please comment and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.